Luke chapter 2 and verse 10, it says, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you what? Good tidings of great joy. And there again, when you see that word good, read it. I bring you God's tidings of great joy. That's what the gospel is. This is God's tidings of how he has purposed to save sinners in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's where salvation is. Had it been possible for any sinner to have worked out their own salvation, Christ would not have come. But because there was no help with a sinner, because those sinners that he came to save could not in any way do anything for themselves because God required absolute perfection. Therefore, he sent his son. And that's the good tidings, the God tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. When it says all people, it's speaking there in a sense of ethnicity. So even though here he was revealed in a specific place to a specific group of men, the shepherds, who would have been Jews, yet the one who came would be good tidings to all people because God has a people from every tribe, nation, and tongue that he purposed to save. And that's who he will make this word of Christ to be precious to and good tidings to, to all people. And then it says in verse 11, for unto you is born this day in the city of David, 